Hi, this is Lin from 3D Science Modeling. In this video, I'm going to talk how students can use a simple computer model to crack genetic code. The genetic code was deciphered in the 1960s by Nuremberg and his team. It allows us to understand the universal language shared by all the living organisms on the Earth and sets the foundation of molecular biology. When students learn about a genetic code, it's important for them to know how to use it. It's equally important for them to understand the reasoning behind it. The model represents the part of Nuremberg's work where he investigated amino acid incorporation based on synthesized polynucleotides. There are only three steps to use the model. First, input the nucleotides. You can only put in A, C, G, U, the four RNA nucleotides. It doesn't matter in which order you put in these nucleotides. Only the type and the ratio of these nucleotides will influence the mRNA synthesis. And a team-based mRNA will be synthesized. You can see it in the simulation window. You can also see it in the yellow monitor box below. Six codons will be displayed in the monitor from the 5' end to the 3' end. Then you can translate the mRNA. A peptide will be displayed in the simulation window. The amino acids incorporated into the peptide will be displayed in the monitor below. Note, these amino acids are not displayed in the order when they are synthesized. So you have to infer which codon they are associated with. Just like Nuremberg, students can start with one type of nucleotide. They can input U to synthesize poly-U mRNA, and then translate. They can see only phenylalanine is incorporated into the peptide, indicating triple-U is the codon for phenylalanine. They can repeat this with the other three types of nucleotides. From there, students can test different nucleotide ratios to crack more codons. They can certainly take advantage of the ratio. For example, put a larger portion of A and smaller portion of G in this case, we have four different types of codons, and we get three types of amino acids incorporated. If we use a more extreme ratio, fewer types of codon will be involved, and we get a more conclusive result. When students investigate U and A, they may synthesize a mRNA that contains a stop codon. Like here, the ribosome stops in the middle of the mRNA. Only two amino acids are incorporated. If we look at the codons, the third codon is a stop codon. You might have noticed that start codon is not used in this model. When we tried this model with high school and college students, if it's well in the one and a half hour class period, Students were so happy they could crack the genetic code. Check our website for a 5e learning sequence. Leave your comments below if you have questions or like this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.